It's a tea day. Hi everybody, it's Kara, and this is Mugs the Word. So, this is my first ever YouTube video, so I apologize if it's a little bit rough. I hope that I can keep you guys entertained enough to stick around until I somewhat figure out what I'm doing. Anyways, I have a couple things to explain before I get into the video. First, I want to explain my title, Mugs the Word. So, it's kind of a play on the phrase, Mum's the Word, which no one really says anymore, but it means that you keep quiet about something. I chose this saying to combine with mugs and because I'm a firm believer that conversation and talking with the people around you, with your friends, your family, with complete strangers, is the way you truly learn about yourself and about the world and about everything really. So I won't be mums, I guess is what I'm trying to say, is I will have conversations on this channel. If you guys have suggestions about what to talk about, you can comment below. And I would love to hear what your favorite conversation topics are. I think that those are the most fun things to know about a person. And the mugs is because I have a slight, more than slight, mug addiction. I've just kind of collected over the years, and now I have somewhere close to 40. Anyways, and the tea. What I mean by it's a tea day is I have been a little bit sick recently. My throat decided to feel like sandpaper, so I have been surviving off of chamomile tea with honey in it. And it's just kind of a gauge about what the video might be about, about what kind of day I'm having, about what's going on in the world. Tea is generally for me like a calming drink where when I have a lot of work to do, or when I just want to take a minute for myself to breathe, just to feel a little bit better about the world and my perspective and kind of what's going on around in my head, I will drink a cup of tea. There will be days where it's a hot chocolate day. Hot chocolate for me is something you drink with friends. So if I have a hot chocolate day, it's probably gonna be a video about friends or something that makes me really happy or just a day where I think the world could use a little bit of hot chocolate. And then there are probably gonna be coffee days because I love being busy. And everyone, well not everyone, but I am one of the people who needs coffee. So if it's a coffee day, it's probably a video about how to survive stress or talking about stress or maybe it's kind of an organization video because Maybe I can help you get organized while I get organized. And then there are probably going to be days where I'm drinking anything and everything out of this mug. It can be a soda day, it can be a lemonade day, it can be a milk day. Because I'm a firm believer that things taste better when you drink them out of mugs. So that's just a little guide for when you start these videos. When I start these videos. So we can all come into the conversation somewhat on the same page and kind of have a fun time figuring things out together. So yeah, that is my basic introduction and I figured for my first video, what better way to start off this random hullabaloo, all the fun crazy things that are in my brain channel than with painting a mug. Okay, so I have my trusty mug of tea Here's here. All my fun crafty things. The mug itself, my blue, pink, green, purple, and sparkly silver, and a hairdryer because I'm too impatient, some tape, scissors, and paint brushes. It's this weird art thing that I've had since I was younger, and then a foam board to protect the carpet. So we open the bad boy up and tape some painter's tape on there just to get some stripes and a basic design on there. I was kind of winging it. I had a somewhat idea in my head, but it ended up being completely different than when I started out. So I started with the blue because I liked that as my base color the most. And then I dried it with the hairdryer, which was actually super efficient. And then I peeled the paint, and there's nothing more satisfying than peeling painter's tape. And they ended up being kind of cute panels. And then I painted 
around the um, handle blue just to kind of bring more blue into there because the stripes weren't as eye-catching as I thought they would be. And that was kind of fun to figure out how to do that because you can't hold the handle when you're painting it because of the wet paint. But it ended up working out with a combination of painting while blow drying. And then I started with the green because green is my favorite color and I was like oh cool I'll do a flower so I tried to get some grass in there it worked better and worse than I thought it would turn out and I had my little stem and leaf and I decided to go for a pink flower my artistic abilities leave much to be desired but that's okay and then I brought the blue back in there by making the center blue and on the other side, I painted a flower because I wanted somewhat symmetry, but then I decided to do a swap with a blue flower and a pink center just because I wanted it to be similar, but I also wanted each panel to be its own panel. And so I did green stripes with pink in between them, and then on the other side, I did pink stripes with green in between them. And it ended up actually being really cute. And then I decided to try to work with the purple puff paint and write mugs on there. I ran out of room for the S, so now my mug is just self-explanatory and says mug. Okay, so I finished my mug. I'll do a zoom in close up later. It turned out better and worse than I expected. It honestly looks like it was done by someone much younger than I am. But I think it's kind of cute. I think what happens when I do crafts is I get over ambitious and I have this like perfectly artisan quality piece in my brain and then it ends up looking like a third grader's art project. But I think it's cute and I think that I will use it for future videos. And it turned out better than the last time that I tried to paint a mug. Because the last time I tried to paint a mug, I tried to glue buttons on it. And then I read that you were supposed to bake it so the paint sets, but I forgot that the hot glue I used to glue on the buttons would melt in the oven again because it's hot glue. It was a... It was a time. It didn't turn out that great. But I have my mess to clean up after this, but I'll spare you that. And... This was my first video. Like and subscribe and I hope you come back to watch more. Cheers. I realized as I was cleaning up that I forgot the silver glitter paint. No! So I'm going to go in real quick and add a little bit of silver glitter paint because everything needs a little bit of sparkle. Glitter, no matter what you're using it for, is kind of hard to work with. So it ended up smearing some of the paint that hadn't dried yet, so the mug turned out being a little bit more of a mess than I thought, and I need to clean it, but I like it a lot.